Hello, so some people were asking me about more information on my bat cave, so I thought I would share. Um, so tomorrow morning I'm going to lock the kids out of my room, and once they're all in, I'm going to tell them that they need a pencil, and I'm going to give them each a light like this one. Um, and then I'm going to tell them that we're going to head into the classroom. So as they come in, this is what they're going to see. It's going to be pitch black, but they're all going to have their lights. Um, I'm going to turn on a light right now because if not, we won't be able to see when I'm explaining. So they're going to come in through the cave like this a little bat there. <laughs> and then once they come out, this is what they're going to be seeing. So basically all this is, is it's brown paper. Um, I had some at school and I bought some extra. So this is one of the cheapest transformations I've ever done. It's just a little time consuming because you have to scrunch up all the paper and then hang it up. Um, otherwise, uh, it didn't cost very much money, which is nice. So basically they're gonna come in, I'm gonna explain to them what my rules are and they're always the same. Uh, if I hear them speaking French, they'll receive points on Class Dojo. If they're fighting, I can't give them any points and I can make them sit out for a couple of minutes, stuff like that. Um, usually on days like this, I don't have much behaviors because the kids are just so excited to be here. So their first task is gonna be reading comprehension. They have three texts that they're gonna to have to go collect. So my first one is about insects. And the reason I'm doing insects, I'm doing insects, birds, and bats is because we're learning about flight and this is all about animals that can fly. So we just finished the properties of air and now we're gonna go into animals that can fly. And then we're gonna go into flight in general with planes and helicopters. So they have a text to read here. They're all laminated, the text, so that I can reuse them hopefully next year. And then they have question questions to answer. So we've been working a lot on reading comprehension and what I expect from them. Um, so this is a great way to make sure that they're doing it right. And usually they'll do an even better job because they're so excited to be here. So this is the first text I'll answer. Um, really, I I'm not going to tell them which text to go to first, actually. I'll just tell them that they have to do all three. Um, so that's the one. The other one is hidden in this little corner here. And it's about bats. So this one's about bats. And then again, they've got the answers here. These are laminated because they have to answer the questions. So next year, all I'll have to do hopefully is do the photocopies for this. And then the third one is about birds. So it's just over here. And on the back, same thing, the questions and the questions that they have to answer. So those are the three texts they're gonna have to go through tomorrow. It is a lot, um, but this is why I do things like this. They're gonna have fun, but they have to work hard while doing it. And I really hope that they're able to handle this really well, because if they are, there's gonna be more coming up. Um, so yeah, they have those three texts to answer. That's, that's one of the tasks that they have to do. Um, and then the next task is over here, and they're all true or false about bats. So again, they have the true or false here, and they're going to have to go around the classroom and find the bats that are paper like this, because on the back, there's some reading information here where they'll find the answers to the true or false. They can't just write true or false. They have to have an explanation to why it's true or false. Um, again, to make them work a little bit harder. So there's another one here. Whoops. And on the back, there's the writing. And then there's another one here. Again, it's gonna be pitch black, so it's gonna be even harder to find and to read the information. And finally, the last one, I had a hard time with this one, but it's just over here. And here's the writing on the back. So that's basically gonna be their entire morning. Um, I have two groups in a day. I only teach the French subjects at my school. So this is uh, basically from 9.15 till 10.15. They'll have an hour to do all that. I'm hoping that it lasts that long, but I think it will. Um, I'm also gonna make them find three words in each text because we do this every week usually that they don't understand and to write them on stickies for the next day. And then they have music and my middle group has um, gym. So the last task after nutrition break is just over here, sorry. And their last task is the super fun one. Just like the, it's like a paper airplane challenge, but instead I got them black paper. So they'll have to build a flying bat um, of their, their choice. I'm gonna get them the iPads to get them some ideas because some of them might not know how to do a paper airplane and some might. 
So the ones that need more ideas can use the iPads. They're gonna complete it. They're gonna test it out. So I'm, I'm gonna give them the option of doing their own or work as a group. That doesn't bother me. Um, they're gonna test it and then we'll probably go outside to see which one can go the furthest. Now, if we don't have time, uh, cause I only have half an hour to do this, we'll just finish the, the next day. Um, this is just a one day transformation. So tomorrow, and if let's say they're not done all their work, then on Tuesday, I'll keep it up. But all this will be coming down fairly quickly. Um, it wasn't too bad. We came at 11.30 yesterday and we were gone by 5.30, but I had my mom here to help me. And my dad came for a little bit just to do this part here. This tunnel is just made out of wood and we covered it with paper. Uh, we decided that next year we'll do it the other way around because it starts off tall and it comes down low. Next year we want to start low and come out tall, right? So that they can come out into the cave from a nice opening. But that's okay. I mean, it's the first time we do this one and it's not perfect, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, you can see I hung a lot of bats around. It's kind of dark and hard to see, but I've got some bats hanging. Um, I have a flying bat, but it's broken right now. It didn't work yesterday, so I'm hoping we can fix it tonight. And then my spider there actually moves, so the battery will be on tomorrow and it'll be moving while the kids